what do you think was your finest hour as, a, as an amateur? Oh, that's hard to say. When, when I went, uh, I went to Edinburgh and I worked with a very good uh, amateur group there, the Edinburgh Graduate Theatre Group, which is still going. Yeah. And um, I did a production of uh, The Cherry Orchard there. I was very, very proud of that production. And uh, the critic of The Scotsman, I remember, s said he thought it was the second best production of The Cherry Orchard he'd ever seen. So you, you, and it, it did have a very good cast. Uh, so that, that was probably my proudest moment, in a way. Yeah. It's when an amateur company really <coughs> gets it right. Yes. It really gets it right. And yeah. you quite often see no difference yeah. between an amateur and professional No, production. no. Any more difficult memories? Uh, you got some <laughs> darkest hour of amateur well, performance, if you like. <laughs> there, were, <laughs> there were some dark hours. Um, oh, I suppose one of my most frenetic moments, when I was at university, we came here to Stratford and did a production in, I think, what's now called the Jubilee Gardens next to the church. And we did Bartholomew Fair. And Ken Loach and I were the two comic uh, villains, uh, Knockham and Wit. <laughs> and, and we had an entry by boat. Um, oh, and it's very ambitious. Very ambitious. <laughs> and uh, I was rowing and Ken was steering. And we set off from more or less by the, what is now the brass rubbing centre. Yes. And we rowed round. And, and we got stuck in the reeds. And I can always remember Ken tearing out these, these reeds. And he said, row, row. He was saying, we'll be late, we'll be late. And I was pulling at the oars. And we did indeed arrive late. Everybody kind of turned and then <laughs> there's no boat. <laughs>